using OneSearch to get articles, books, and more. Brought to you by CSUSB's John M. Pfau Library. You can use what you learn in this video to find resources in most of the library's databases. OneSearch is a gateway to the deep web because it searches many of the library's resources at the same time. You can search for a specific article or book title if you know it, or conduct a general search, in which case the first step is to think of keywords that describe the main ideas of your topic or research question. For example, if I'm interested in how commercials, videos, or other media affect teenagers' body image, I might use the keywords media, body image, and teenagers. Now that I've typed some words in the box, some search options have unfolded beneath it. I'll choose the option to find articles. Since OneSearch searches across many databases, you will likely get many results. To the left of your results, however, you can refine your search in a variety of ways. For example, you can limit what you see to peer-reviewed journals only, refine by resource type, set a publication date limit, and more. And now I'll apply those filters. Once you find something that interests you, go ahead and click on the title. You'll usually get bibliographic information, and a brief summary of the article. At the top of the page, click Citation to view automatically generated citations in a variety of styles. But be aware that these citations could contain errors, so you'll want to check them using a style guide. If you're ready to read the full article, Open the link where it says it's available online. This will take you to the library database where we have access to that article. Always watch for the PDF version because PDFs are easy to print or download. By the way, if we don't have an article online, you'll be offered other options to get it, like requesting a digital copy from another library. Let's go back to our previous search. If you want to find books from our library, change the drop-down menu to Books and Media CSUSB. This works the same way. You can refine your results on the left. For example, if I don't want to see video, I can apply a books filter. Click on a title to learn more about the item. If you scroll down, you'll still find bibliographic information, maybe the table of contents, and the short summary of the book. If it's a print book, be sure to note the location and the call number, since you'll need to come to the library to check it out. The status will indicate if it's available. To access an ebook, click on the link indicating where it is available online, just like we did for articles. Keep in mind that if you broaden your search to one of the other scopes, like all CSU or everything, you'll probably see some books that the library does not own. However, you'll get the option to request it through our interlibrary loan service. Make sure that you sign in to see all available options. And that's one search. Remember that using keywords, refining your results, and double-checking software-generated citations are good practices you can apply when using most of the library's databases.